Spotlight is a built-in intelligent search feature from Apple that allows you to search through your apps, files, and the web to help you find what you're seeking. Apple keeps on improving this function. iOS and iPadOS 16 are no exception. This video will highlight what's new in Spotlight and get you set up and running. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you're interested in joining me for a monthly live Q&A, you'll find a link in the video description to sign up. There's also a link for all of my resource guides. I'd love to see you on the next Q&A. Let's get started. Your iPhone and iPad come with Spotlight already turned on. To access it, you'll just swipe down on your home screen. So place your finger on the screen and pull down and you'll see that the search bar appears above the keyboard. In iOS 16, Apple has also placed a little search icon right above your form uh, icons at the bottom of the page. You can tap on that as well and begin your spotlight search. There's no option to disable this feature, but you can turn off Siri suggestions, which you see here on the page. And to do that, I'm going to swipe out of Siri uh, of Spotlight Search, and I'm going to come into the Settings app, locate Siri and search, scroll down until you see Show Suggestions. I'm going to toggle that switch off. I'm going to swipe back out so that you can see what it looks like. And so here you'll still see the recents, but you'll no longer see the Siri suggestions. So you might want to take a look at this with it on and off and then determine what works better for you. If you want to do an image search, Spotlight can find locations, people, text, pets, objects, and more in images from notes, files, messages, and the Photos app in iOS and iPadOS 16. You can install, delete, and move apps. Spotlight makes downloading apps more accessible than ever. You'll have an option to directly download an app if you don't have the app already installed. So as you can see, I typed in TikTok and I don't have TikTok installed on my device. But once I do, the top hit is to get it directly from the App Store. Another few other things that you can do in this area is if I type in a app that's already on my device, you can see that I can access the app directly from Spotlight. I can push and hold on that app and get the option to delete that app if I choose to. Another option I have is if I push and hold, I can drag that app directly onto my home screen. So you have many options when searching inside of Spotlight. The ability to search live text is one of the best features. This feature extracts text inside your photos, allowing you to copy and paste that text anywhere. Spotlight indexes the text so if you don't remember when the photo was taken, but remember a few words in the image, Spotlight should be able to find it. So go ahead and you open up your Spotlight search. And as you can see, I've typed in Gone with the Wind. And in the photo section, you can see that Spotlight has found some images that have that text in it. So if I select one of those images, you'll see that Spotlight gives me the option to copy and paste the text in that image anywhere. You can also perform quick actions inside of Spotlight, and these are functions that are done right from within the interface. So if I wanted to start a timer, if I you know, type in Start Timer, it appears at the top of the page. I can tap on that and create a timer. If I want to run uh, one of my uh, shortcuts, if I type in or start typing in the name of the shortcut, it appears at the top of the page. I can tap on that and my shortcut will be run. I can also activate a focus from inside of uh, Spotlight. So if I start typing in streaming, my shortcut should appear, uh, my focus should appear. I can tap on that and that will be activated. So there's many things you can do inside of Spotlight that are quick actions. 
Siri suggestions are now smarter and more context-driven. For example, a list of recent searches allows you to revisit something you found earlier. You'll also get better results when searching for businesses or sports teams. And to show you that, I have the Pittsburgh Penguins highlighted here. Just let me tap on that to search. And you can see that you'll receive all kinds of information. Try typing in dog, cat, or beach, and then scroll to photos from apps. The photos app has been able to do this for some time but it's nice to be able to access this directly from the home screen, saving you a few extra clicks. Another example, searching for a restaurant. You may be able to see the menu, book a reservation, order takeout, join a wait list, and more. Since Spotlight integrates into every aspect of iOS and iPadOS 16, it allows the whole ecosystem to be searchable. Once you start using Spotlight, I'm sure you'll be amazed by its capabilities. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.